said, first they ignored you, then they laughed at you, then they fight you, then you win. <laughs> and the fight for a fair tax system in Illinois will not just be just a policy battle, even though it will be based on sound public policy. It will not just be a legislative skirmish, even though it will require legislation. This will be a political battle, and since politics will determine the outcome, we must be politically engaged. And it will also require that we win the hearts and minds of the Holy voters. So this battle must be bigger than just scoring political points. This battle must be bigger than partisan politics. This is a battle for the soul of our state. Will we continue to reduce this battle to the current narrow frame that government benefits like human services are handouts for the less fortunate? Or that Medicaid is a charity that we can't afford in a tight economy? Or it would be nice to educate all of our children equally and adequately, but we can't afford it? Or will we reaffirm the basic American ideal that yes, we are responsible for ourselves, but we're also responsible for each other. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. You see, they can only win if they deny us. Black against white. Citizens against workers. Union workers versus not union workers. Straight against gay. How cruel. How cynical. How divisive. Let us begin to knit together that inescapable garment of destiny that Dr. Martin Luther King talked about, where one affects one of us directly, affects all of us indirectly. We all do better when we all do better. Don't get nervous, Sassy. Last I was brought up Baptist, so I closed more than one, but this is my final call. People have this romantic view of social justice movements. Take the civil rights movement. If you have a romantic view, you'll think that Rosa Parks sat at the front of the bus, Dr. Martin Luther King gave a good speech, and then black people got free. <laughs> Come on now. That discounts the thousands and thousands of people of all races who struggled too valiantly, who bled too profusely, who died too prematurely for freedom's cause. But we all know that lasting social change would not be made by heroes or sheroes. Superman, Wonder Women, or Avengers, history will only be made the only way history in America has ever been made is when ordinary people get in motion. Natural men and natural women. Right. However, I need y'all to step it up a notch. Right. I need y'all to put a little super in your natural. <laughs> a little extra <laughs> in your ordinary. That means y'all can do the hard, unglamorous, day-to-day, -day, tedious work of learning the facts and educating your members and educating and reaching out to your neighbors and IDing those who are on your side and getting them to come and vote and, so, and find out who's not on your side and find them an excuse to come home, stay home. Let's go all in. I need you all to have the courage to stand on the front side of history and help change it. How many of y'all 